Okay guys, Shaper 1000 here. Today we're gonna put a battery tray in here. Now you can still buy these battery trays. They're $144. This was 14. So what I'm gonna do, hopefully it's not too thick. It should have plenty of room for the uh, I guess hood or seat or whatever to go down and what I'm going to do I'm going to take two of these this is just to lay across here so I know about so I'm going to weld these this white thing's just for a gauge but I'm going to weld like one right there and then another one right over there and then I think that'll help support the batteries on this wood so yeah that's what we're going to do and I can put the put that wood down in there and then set the batteries on it then like I said I'll have to make a couple hold downs I think I can weld this I can clean this up and weld that and then I'll just put a bolt, weld a bolt on the end of this thing. So that way it'll hold it in. But right now, let's go ahead, let's get the welding done and out of the way. And then, um, and then we'll, we'll get that cut. I'm not sure if I'm going to use a table saw. I might use a table saw on it. We'll see. But let's get this, whoa. Let's get this, those things got to cut the rubber off but we'll get those welded in and then that'll be ready for to accept the board and then we can pull the tractor back up here start off loading batteries on here the wiring I think we'll have to see I may I may work with the wiring tomorrow on it we'll just have to see so stick around let's get started on this thing close we are I want it to go underneath them and move these out of the way so I want it to go come on these come up through here like that move that out of the way I want to kind of to go underneath these edges here recording yes <laughs> so I want to kind of get it under here if I can all right now let me see Not sure how I'm gonna do that. 
might be able to bend it. Uh, let me see. I have to get in your guys' way here for a second. I may have to shorten this up a little bit. Um, this way. I used to build, bend boards like this at work all the time, but never this far, so. All right, let me shorten this up. I won't bore you with that. It's going to take half an inch or an inch off, and I'll be right back. All right, well, I guess I wasn't recording again, but it just pretty much fell in, and I just bend it a little bit and goes in there. Um, it does move a little bit, but that will not move once. I get the batteries in there and get the battery hold down on because the the original one it's just a metal pan it just sets in there and that's what holds it in is these things so once I get them in there that thing will not move especially with a couple hundred pound pound of batteries well probably more than that <laughs> but then it's not gonna move so let me see Now, I think I'm going to pull this out and spin it around and put the cut edge back there, the one I cut back there. Looking for the factory edge. I might have had it on there. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be all right. It'll set about right there. Now, it started rain on me like three times. Well, it's starting to rain again now. Damn it. All right, let me get my electronics inside. Okay, guys, you can probably see I didn't make the rain. Hopefully, it'll slack off enough to where I can get that trailer up here we'll at least get the batteries on it tonight and then tomorrow you know on another video I can do the cables um, a lot of that stuff I won't show like shortening up the uh, the pop box cable that's nothing you just clip it off shorten it you know it's two wires um, I will show you how I make the uh, the battery cables for this thing I'll show you that but I won't show you every single one because it's repetitive it'll just be showing you that you know same thing over and over again but hopefully we can get the batteries in here tonight and I can get that cover the battery cover back on a seat or whatever but uh, uh subscriber of mine Dennis hi Dennis thanks for the shout outs yesterday I appreciate that uh, he said he likes to hear some stories I got one for you has to do with a golf cart now, these stories I tell you are true so a buddy of mine, we went, looked at this old truck. He liked it. He was like, yeah, he says, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. And he paid the guy, he paid in cash, everything. So did I at that time. He buys a guy, he pays for the truck. He had some other things sitting around. And uh, so they made a deal. He bought the truck. We get it loaded and he goes over shake guy's hand. And the guy says, when you come back after the other thing? Carlos says, what other thing? He says, oh, well, you, you get all this. There was an old golf cart, electric golf cart, 
batteries was shot who knows what else was shot on them. but it was decent shape I mean the body was okay you know it was, it was like that I mean it was decent and there was a garden tractor which I ended up with it it was fine it just needed a battery and there was an old snowmobile of course we you know I lived in Ohio then there was a snowmobile so snowmobile was was ragged I mean we wouldn't have took it but you know that was part of the deal you know that we kind of didn't know about but we thought well we'll take it if anything we can use parts or something off of them so we get the truck we get the tractor and you know we get everything back to the shop and uh, the uh, the snowmobile you know the tracks were gone the skis were busted off of it handlebars were all bent up it was just you know it'd been racked and had been sent for you know 15 years 10 15 years anyway so just for fun one day it was on a Saturday so you want want to see if this this old snowmobile will run I said yeah we might as well I mean at least we can do is maybe get a good engine out of it you know the gas tank was okay um, but the carburetor, of course, you know, sitting that many years with gas in it, it needed clean, but we thought, we, we, let's just try it. So we checked, man, I'm getting soaked here. Shoot. All my stuff is getting soaked. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I am soaked. My gloves are soaked, helmet soaked. So anyway, yeah, let's try it. So it did have spark. Oh, well, you know, it's got spark. Felt like it had compression, so shot a little ether in to the carburetor, pulled it twice and then I think fired up, ran for about three seconds and died. And he immediately said, hmm, that's a good engine. I said, yeah, now we just need to put it on something. And he turned around Looked at that golf course, so you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, I am now. <laughs> so, we took the engine off that snowmobile, put it on that golf cart. I mean, we did that in a weekend, just messing around. And that thing, we got to run, that thing was scary. It would just stand up like this. We ended up putting wheelie bars on it, because that thing would hook up. I mean, it would just ride up in the air. You thought you was going to go over and we clocked it behind his Camaro, or in front of his Camaro, we was, I was behind him in the Camaro. Yeah, that thing would run 75 miles an hour. That was scary, man. That was the scariest thing. Uh, we ended up selling it after we put the wheelie bars on it. I mean, and we didn't sell junk. We painted it and we made sure everything was up to par. And uh, The guy that bought it off of us, he put a lift kit on it put some big tires he took it to the mud hole he was out in the mud hole with it all the time um, it's called Gasline Motorsports and it was a place you go four wheel in and take four wheel drives and all kinds of stuff they had mud pits and uh, mud drags and stuff like that so that was pretty cool I got some stories about when I had the shop man the, the stuff that him and I built and the stuff I built but there you go, Dennis. There's a story for you. Again, thanks for the uh, shout out yesterday. So I got to move some of this stuff and uh, wait on the rain to quit. When the rain quits, I'll speed you up, but I'll show you putting the batteries, sliding the batteries in. So stick around.
Okay guys, so we got the seat put back on so everything's covered up. Wouldn't hurt the batteries, but I didn't want the controller and the charger in there getting wet. So, Monkey wants to put the original seat back on. She says, why do you want to be separated? Because I want to put bucket seats on with the little console in the center. And she wants to put this seat on. I can fix that. But she wants to put that back on. But this is what I want to put on it. So what do you guys think? <laughs> uh, those are boat seats, but I can get two of them for $119. So I'm thinking and I can put me a little console in there with a center shift or a couple drink holders or both. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they would look nice on there. And then the, those backs would come off. Uh, white and black goes with anything because I think we're going to paint it yellow. Because it's trimmed in black, it'd look pretty good yellow and black, but that's later. But what do you guys think? It's got white seats on the back, they'll match. So when we paint it yellow, those green and white seats aren't going to match. So. What do you guys think? Anyway, I'm going to call quits for today. It's only like 2.30, but uh, I got a couple hours to do just making up them wires. And uh, so I think um, once I start something, you know, I don't want to stop until I get like at a good stopping point. You know what I mean? So I'm going to call it quits for today. So stay tuned for Man, I'm on my tripod and it's moving on me. And uh, so anyway. Stay tuned for the next part where we work on the wires. I'll show you how to make up one of them wires. Uh, I don't have a crimper. I'm just going to solder them. You know, a lot of people say, well, solder cracks. Well, crimping comes loose, you know. Solder, you get a, a better connection. That's just my opinion, you know, from what I found doing things like that a lot. I found solder works a lot better. But, um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, a legend. I'm gone for now. Appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out Monkey1000's channel. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care and stay safe.